Hi there, I'm going to show you how to use PowerPoint to create posters or bookmarks for the um, resource or the reference tool presentation you're going to be doing. Um, so I open PowerPoint and I'm going to create a blank presentation and it brings up the normal slide, but I want to change my sh size and shape or orientation. So I am going to go to design now, if you're using a different version, you're just going to have to find the correct um, terminology wherever it is on your screen. Um, page setup, and I want my slides to be portrait, and I'm going to make this a poster that's like um, three feet tall um, and two feet wide, or maybe that's a little big, but anyway, you can do it. Um, so that would be what? Um, 36 inches, no, 24 inches across and 36 inches high. Click OK. So there's our poster. So you could save, you could create this poster, save it to a flash drive at this size. Then you would, um, you could take it to a Kinko or an Office Max or something, and they could print this and laminate this out, laminate this for you, and you could hang it on your wall. Um, and it would be, um, um, specific to your particular school. Anyway, so you can do anything you want here. Um, insert, let's see, if I want, see, I don't want to, I can move a title, move it up here, and say we're doing um, dictionaries. It's kind of fun. You know, I don't really like that very much, so we're going to go around and find something else that we like. There are also tons of free sites that you can um, go to and get free fonts if you don't like any of these. Uh, all you have to do is save them and then like drag them to your font folder within, you know, on your, your C drive of your computer, wherever that's located. Um, Let's see, I'm wasting time here, so, um, but I can't seem to stop. All right, we'll just do that one. All right, <clears throat> so you can, you know, choose, you know, these are, of course, um, we might want to change this to, um, to a different layout, make it blank, and then you can <coughs> choose um, any kind of design here that you want if you want this kind of help. If you don't, you can, looky there, oh, you can just leave it blank like that, move this back to where it was, and you can choose to um, <clears throat> oh, let's see, what would you do? What would you do here? Format background, and you might want to gradient fill, and um, you can see that it does a little colors here. You can change the colors here to match school colors if you want. You can adjust that to where it's, you know, does, um, gets lighter at a different location. Um, ooh, I accidentally did that. I don't know why I did that, but anyway, let's, uh, um, you can also do a texture, and here are the textures that you can choose from. Um, or you can insert a file. And so, Let's see, a bookshelf. So you could do that. Now, of course, you can see that that's a little bit too dark. Um, transparency, you can lighten that and click close. So now we kind of have a background and we can insert other things. If you had a screenshot of, um, um, of um, a, an online dictionary possibly or or something like that. If you have it open already on your computer, looky here, click screenshot, 
and these are my available windows. And so um, I click that and look, it automatically puts it in there. So that's kind of cool, but that's, you know, not required. Insert um, pictures or clip art. Make sure your pictures are copyright free. So search online for, um, you know, free, um, free um, pictures. Um, so that's, that's how to set a big poster and, and to play around with that. All right, so now PowerPoint is not required for you to use. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to close that. I'm not going to save anything. I'm going to create a new document and I'm going to show you again and then how to do like the bookmarks. So I'm going to page setup, design page setup. I still want it portrait, but I'm, let's see, seven by 10 inches. That's the large size. So I want the height to be um, uh, 10 inches or maybe let's do eight inches. And let's do our width only um, two inches or two and a half. Okay, so there's a bookmark. And so the same thing applies. Um, insert a background that you want, insert your text that you want. Uh, let's see, a text box or word art. Do that. Um, oops. Dictionaries. Move it up. There we go. A little too big, of course. So you can see, I mean, you'll have to play around with it. But, um, just, you know, kind of fun once you get into it. Don't get too frustrated. But uh, anyway, that's what you can do. Then after it's all done, um, you can, let's see, I'm gonna make that smaller so it'll all fit there. Okay, um, you wanna go to File, Save As, and you would probably want to save it as um, a PDF and that way it will be a PDF and it will easily upload, keep the size, easily upload to, um, to the doc sharing. Um, however, you could save it as, let's see, a JPEG. Let, yeah, probably save it as a JPEG first, the, only the, the bookmarks. The, the poster, be sure to save it as a, JPEG, or a PDF first thing. But if you save this as um, a JPEG first, do you want every to export every slide? Um, current slide only. Um, if you want to do this, you would want, or uh, this way you could open a Word document and you could page layout. We want orientation landscape. Um, let's insert um, a picture and let's go to my dictionary picture that I just created, the dictionary bookmark. Where did I save it though? Eek. Mm. It went to my document, so there it is. All right, so there's our bookmark. So if you were to then move it or copy it and then paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, you'd have four, um, you'd want to make sure not to use white, I guess. Uh, you would have four bookmarks on one page. Then you could save this as a PDF and you have four bookmarks on one page that would easily be uploaded and then printed out. Um, I do wanna say, especially on the poster, be sure, to you, be sure that you're using a picture that has high resolution, meaning that when you click on it and make it look bigger, it's not going to be all fuzzy and grainy. Uh, you want it to, because you know if, if you're going to make the poster bigger, it's going, the, the picture itself is going to be, you know, blown up a little bit. So make sure you're going to be using a high enough resolution, not a small picture. 
Okay, well, have fun. Doesn't have to be totally fancy or anything. Just, you know, give it your best shot and just play around a little bit.